there. Sorry, I was pretending to read a book. It makes you look smarter. Do it in front of people you like. First question comes from our supreme overlord, David, about why there's so many chemicals in our food. It, it, it takes a lot of research to figure out why this is, because it's not obvious or anything. I'm going to try to say this in very plain terms, and then we'll work into the more difficult you know, terminology and scientific stuff uh, later on. There's all these kinds of chemicals in our foods because it's cheaper that way! Why do you think that? Oh, why do you think they added that? They're like, just like poisoning people? I'm sure some of them fucking do. But no, it's because it's cheaper. It's cheaper to like take some crap like atoms in a laboratory and, and poke them with a fucking hyper stick and jam them together. And lo and behold, it's like this substance that's kind of like peanut butter and it tastes like peanut butter, but it's a lie. It's a damn lie. It's just a bunch of hyper stick poked atoms to make it resemble like shit, like Twinkies. Twinkies. Do you know what's, what's in Twinkies? No one knows what's in Twinkies! No one knows what, they've evolved. Like there's probably like one, like the prototype of Twinkie, which was really close to food. And then it like self-divided in the fucking laboratory and it evolved into less and less food until now, like you can throw it on a pile of fucking ants and they'll just like use it to build with and they won't even try to chomp on it with their little chomper chomps. With a scientific word of chomper chomps. Fuck those mandibles. Cannibals, cannibals. I don't know. But, you know, using substitutes instead of real foods gone back since probably the scientific revolution of the damn 60s when they discovered that they could kill hippies by feeding them fake food because hippies don't know anything, at least they didn't back then. We got educated hippies now, but that was when they were all burning down their colleges so they didn't know that, you know, hypodextrochemist tridubulate would probably melt their eyeballs if they ate too much of it. And so they got really weak from all the chemicals and um, sickly, and then they all got herpes and they went home and got jobs as like bookstore keepers or something. That's the story of the damn chemicals in your food. It's cheaper and it's probably meant to kill you because, um, I don't know, rich people just hate you, or they, or they hate me, and they are. Uh, please send more questions, and I will continue to educate you, hopeless people, about any sort of thing you like to tell me about. Until next time. Where's the fucking book? I threw it over here. Ah, there it is.